Oh, hello, beautiful people. Hope you're all doing well. Um, there we are, it's kicked in. Oh, I just need to share it and then we're ready to go. To share it and we're ready to go. Um, hope you're all well. Hope you have a great weekend. That's the main thing. Oh, where am I going there? Right. Um, paste uh, done right that's enough for today so this is a new stream as you know well new series of the stream i should say not new stream so hopefully having some fun today please say hello in chat um if you are around well we have josie today how are you josie you all right oh let's test this to see, or right, if this comes out crap, I have to do another one. Um, I want to put some Zachariah stuff in here. So, um, if it's not playing, oh, I don't sure if people can see that. Not sure if people can see that. Mm. Maybe I just need to make it like Zach's face rather than. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. She started already. She's on it. I am an American football fan. I am. Oops, I've gone to the wrong thing here. Hang on. I love American football. Um, you and Sarah P. Sarah P loves uh, 49ers as well. So I've got Colts top on, right? Colts top. Michael Pittman top on. But you can see it, can you? Can you see it? Okay. I might have to make I was thinking of making it bigger. Hi, Young. Hello. Nice to see you, Young. Thanks for being here. So it's make because I put free Zachary Anderson at the bottom, maybe get rid of that and just make his face a little bit bigger. Um, because I want to make like I want to put permanent stuff in there. So Sarah P is also a 49ers fan. Um obviously got Brock Purdy coming back. He's gonna be a starter. I think they've announced that now. Brock Purdy starter the 49ers. You've got one hell of a quarterback room. You've got Sam Darnold and Trey, Trey Lancey. Trey Lance, is he gonna be the biggest bust? In NFL history, some are saying yes. I'm not saying yes. Some are saying yes. Some are saying yes. So we have to see with that one. But yes, yeah, so I've got a Colts top on. But I'm not. I'm not. I don't feel like I'm a Colts fan. I don't think. Yes, she did. In fairness, Young gets a little bit of credit here as well. Uh, I don't remember how we got to it, but we got to this in the end. Um. So yeah, Young. Right, sorry, and there's no food today. No food today. I'll be honest with you, no food today. Um, so my plan today is I'm hoping some people from the UK watch this on most people watch my stuff on repeat. Um, so I got some big hits today. So women, I got some rugby union, rugby league, and NFL tackles, hits, fights that I want to concentrate today. And then next week, I want to do more about tailgating and stuff like that, just to build into it. Because a lot of uh, people in the UK, they're starting to get into it. Um, they're starting to get into the NFL, and I love the NFL. I watch it. Well, I don't say I watch every game, but I watch the Red Zone every Sunday. I try and watch the Monday and Thursday games. I just love it. I just love it. You did ask questions. I mean, young, that's your speciality. Ask, ask 100 questions. And then we got there in the end. We did, so you, you get credit. You do get credit. Um, so that's my plan today. I, I was thinking, let's 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 social some uh, male legs, some male packages for the women. Um, and yeah, and talk about if people got NFL stuff. I love talking about NFL. You went to it's Wisconsin. JJ Watt, Derek Watt, TJ Watt, what 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 the Badgers Big Ten. Yes. Um, the Watt brothers, the trio. So Big Cat from Barcelona, he's a big Wisconsin fan. That's why I started following, watching the Wisconsin Badgers. Um, I also want to talk about, once this is done, basketball and stuff. I'm not up to breast with basketball, but I do know a lot about, well, I say I know a lot. As a British guy, Welsh guy, I think I know a lot about NFL. Now, pit me up against someone like Lefty, then I know nothing. Do, do you know what I mean? I've I've got the same kind of knowledge or Dave or something like that, but I, you know I know my quarterbacks I know a few things here I know that 
Josie's probably like it in La La Land about all the three quarterbacks she's got at the minute. You know, Oof. the field of dreams. Um, so yeah, Wisconsin. I know Wisconsin. I know you got. I want to do jump around, jump around, jump, jump, jump around. You know, uh, he because that's where that song is known. So we can maybe do some stuff about. Uh, songs one one of the weeks as well. So we've got pre-seasons. We've got four weeks now before the actual season starts. Once the actual season starts, that's when I want to get guests on. Now it's about covering a show because I, honestly, I want to make sure people watch this that I've never watched American sports before. Um, I have a lot of friends I've never really gone into it, so I want to show them the fun side of the NFL and college football. Russell Winston, yeah, well, so he started off though, didn't he? Uh, was it Wake Forest he went to? What, I know it was in, uh, yeah, because it wouldn't it was in North Carolina. So, it was it Wake Forest? Oh, let's Google it. I'm sure we went to Wake Forest, and then he then transferred to Wisconsin. Um, hang on, Russell. Wikipedia knows its stuff. Let's have a look here. NC State. Damn it. I was close, but damn it. NC State, you went to done. He played one year in Wisconsin. Damn. Um, you see, I let myself down there. Let myself down there already. Um, but I don't like I don't like him anyway, so it's all right. Uh Bucky the Bud, yes. Well, I, Shelly, I can do a hundred of them right now for you. No worries. Hundred push-ups right now if you want me to. Just means unfortunately you can't see it. The screen, you know, disappointed. I'll do one size now if you want me to. Just you can't see it. Thank you, Josie. Josie, are you a bit of a are you a bit of a toy boy? I do like your uh, uh, football. I love that. If you love uh, your your question, me already. I love it. I love it because most of my followers are women. So I'm hoping some people are actually interested in NFL stuff and college football stuff. And I'm not sure if you girls have ever seen, like, Rugby League or Rugby Union. Because I want to show a bit of that. This is what we're used to. Hello, Erin. Cheerio. I can't stay long. I'm away to ride roller coasters with the fam. Nice. Rather you than me, though. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a roller coasters guy. I'm not, I'm not into that. I'll be honest with you. And, um, but I'll play the first video then because she's here, Erin's here, and she likes men in shorts. So this is going to be rugby union, right? Um, I say I'm not going to concentrate on rugby union, rugby league, but I want to show you some of the hits. You know, just because. You know why not? Just to see what I experienced growing up, and what I used to play. Obviously not this level, but still, I compare it to the NFL. Um, oh, cool. So Shelly knows uh, a little bit. So this is the first one, then. Most colleges in the States do have a rugby union team. Um, so I played this and rugby league. So let's have a look at some of this stuff, then. This is. up and puts on a bit of foot Whack, and then he runs straight into big father silly Woo! on your ass lad oh. on your ass i'll be honest with you i have not watched any of these because i wanted to watch them with you guys so but rugby union is all about fighting and stuff like that oh i got i got scars for it rosie josie oh, why is that rosie josie i got scars for it don't you worry Rugby union is rough. Rugby league is even rougher. There's nothing wrong with that either. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, running over.
Ooh. I do a little bit. I do a little bit. It's a hard and it's lightened up by Right, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's a hard tackle. Hard tackle. Here we go, Wales. This is Wales. Wales. Oh. So we Oh. That's going to hurt right the cheekbone. He probably broke his cheek there. Oh, that's going to hurt as well. Yeah, CTE is real in rugby. Oh my god, that, oh my god, he would have been red carded for that. That's it, Elliot. Oh, beats the first and has no one in front of him, and that's about to Elliot. Oh, they run into a huge Oh, what a tackle. Ball. What a tackle. What a tackle. That's a great tackle. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that's not great. That's just not nice to do. Yeah, he pushed him down, so what? That, that's the thing. Oh, that... Right, that tackle, right? That's fine. That's legal. That's everything. But his hands are so high up that he's exposed his stomach and stuff and his ribs. And he's just tackled it. Perfectly fine tackle, but that's gonna hurt. That he's gonna be winded after that one. Oh, okay, mate. What was that? That was in a tackle. One more pass there, it would have been an overlap, but now's a chance for Watson and WP to come away. Oh, good hit, Andy. Oh, now that is a tackle and a half. That's like body against body. That's how tough am I against you? Bang. No, okay. he's not. He's going to have a little half break. Cockets. Out of goals. Run straight over the guy now. Oh, run over him. Halfway as well. Felipe Nagossi oh. with a break for the winger. Still on its feet. Beautiful support as well. Oh, that's going to hurt. And this one. It's going to hurt. Oh. Whoa. He went head first. You do not go head first. He goes shoulder first. The, oh, my days. Oh, that's going to hurt. Okay. Hi, Lou. Hi, Lou. Anyone see the... Yeah, I saw it. He got hammered. This this one's going to hurt as well. So he kicked the ball away. He shouldn't be tackled. But he got smashed.
you idiot. Oh, you try to do something. Oh. Second row partner, Mayafu. Oh, 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 Well, oh, big hit on Well, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? That, that's some of the worst, you know I mean? Are you enjoy did you enjoy that? Concussion though, right. So concussion. I got more. I got more. We're not resting there, we got more. So concussion, Shelly asked. I don't know what the comparison is because CT is stuff like you just don't know, you can't measure it. But I do know the effects of some people now retired earlier because of getting concussions and stuff like that. There's, I, I'm not sure how many concussions there are in rugby against um, football. But I, I, I think they're all working better towards it. But I can tell you now that when I played rugby, there was no concussion protocol. There was nothing. Do you know I mean, it was all like, yeah, you're fine. Play on. Wait a minute. Play on. There was never anything, you know. You'd have to be literally seeing stars before you were even, and even then, you were given five minutes and then come back on. Um, I know some people are suffering now from dementia in rugby union. Uh, one of actually high profile Welsh um player, uh, he he says that the reason he got concussions, so many of them, that he believes is a link to that to dementia because he keeps losing his. His thought process and stuff. I feel the players uh, have said the same now, but they're, so they're trying to safeguard things. But you know, it's that balance between getting away from the game, making it safe, but also still be entertaining. And if you take too much away, there's no no longer entertaining. But safety of players is paramount. So. You know, it's it's one of those cash twenty two really. Um right. Hang on. Got another one here now. Let's have a look at it. Okay. Play this with this now again is rugby union. If you all hate this, let me know. I don't have to play it. It's just more of a I want to give you guys an introduction to some British sport as well before we start going into like because we've got like loads of weeks for NFL talk, so but if it's boring, just let me know and I can switch it, you know share screen this one's 18 minutes again oh yeah, that's he's done Um, so, Lou, this is interesting. No contact rugby. I, I, so, it's getting more and more popular, low contact rugby, um, for youngsters and also for actually people my age. 
Um, there's a lot more like touch rugby and stuff like that happening. Um, there's a lot more competitions. There's a lot more. For me, I'd love it because I don't want to go on a pitch and, and start doing all this. Um, the diehards will hate it and just like, well, that's not rugby. You know, they it's not going to launch off. It's not going to become popular. But to play with and just as a fitness thing, I I love it. Um, and I need to get back into that really. So, but it's never going to take place, unfortunately. Um, because again, entertainment value. So rugby union as well, especially on a regional level, is decreasing. You see more and more clubs going to bankruptcy and stuff because the interest is not there anymore as much as it was. Internationally, the interest is still there, but regionally, especially in Wales, we, we've just now lost two regions, um, or about to. And even in England, a lot of people going to clubs going to bankruptcy and stuff. So rugby is actually on the way down in some uh, club rugby anyway. So they might need to look at stuff like touch rugby and stuff to reinvigorate the game somehow. So. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. He's just well, okay. He should have used his shoulder. Yeah, he should have used. Well, I didn't see. Sorry, his elbow. I didn't see the elbow. Yeah, that's bad. Can't tackle from the neck. I know. In Farrell has been shown the red card. Owen Farrell is a very dirty player. He is. The, or he was the captain of England rugby, and um, he's also he got sent off on Saturday. Um, you know he's got sent off on Saturday, so he loves a red card. No worries, young. That's fine. I can't watch the contest, but yeah. But I don't know, most women I know love it, but they love to see blood and stuff off men. Yeah. So. <laughs> Oh, that's that's horrible. That's horrible. That's horrible. The, the reason that's horrible is because he tried to tackle him in the air, spun him, and he landed on his head. So he got the head neck area because we don't, you know, there's no helmets, there's no like, uh, there's no protection. That's illegal. He can't do that. It's a red card. That's really really bad. That is trouble. Oh, I see it. Land is straight on so his neck. It is a red card. Both players are on the deck. Lusu. Oh. Bloody Goodness Laura. Me. He's going to be sent off and the uh, Bordeaux player is furious. Ooh. Well, that's the kind of dangerous play that we just do not want to see in the game. The free given the stop clock. Oh. Bastro's off. Bastro is off. Wait for it. Boom. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Elbow to the head as well. No, I get it. Hey, Lou, I get it. I get it. Um, it you know, it doesn't happen as often. You know, these are obviously highlight reels of the really bad stuff. Not every game is like this, obviously. Um, but you do see some of that landing on necks and stuff like that. Uh, even lower league um rugby, it is. It's not common, but you do hear people are like being paralysed and stuff like that from it. So, um, yeah, it's not, it's not great. He knows exactly what he's doing. That's there. horrible. Yeah, that's yellow for Sanson. Double couple. Oh, what can he hit him with? Yeah, that's unfortunate. No, it, that wasn't bad, but... No, you just don't do that. You just don't do that. Again, you just don't do that. You just don't do it. Don't tackle someone up in the air. That's just dangerous. He's going to be in a lot of trouble because... 100%. He has... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's a very dangerous act of foul play. That's a red card. <laughs> This mall it still gets a big mitt full of Swain's luscious locks and then it gets a touch scrappy on the other side. Yeah. Ed, but... Um, BB, can I just 
us actually see that in full speed, please? You can't do that. And Darcy Swain gone for the night. That's so oh, yeah. When when they do catch people headbutts and stuff like that, it, it is you know do get penalised, but still just don't do it. <laughs> The beginning at the beginning and this player here has now used his fist listen has used his fist to strike another player in the face it is direct contact with force it is a red card it is a red card what is the beginning it is a red card okay direct contact to the head oh no 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 that's a pile driver you do not do a pile driver that is what gets you paralyzed. Oh my oh, days. You see, he picks him up and drives him into the ground, neck for like head first, so his neck gets bent in. Now it, it, it happens, right? And it's not always deliberate, but that's oh, that's your worst nightmare. That's when he in the worst. He did react. Go no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, so I, I got to think they wasn't deliberate, but still, oh, that's gonna hurt. Shocker. Here we go. The card coming out. And the card is no other decision there. France with a scrum cap there, and now that. Oh yeah. But right, there we go. That's clear. That's clearly. The oh, that's that's around the he's net. done. Then you take your arm away. That's wheels against France. You hit him with the elbow in the head. That's a red card. No. That's amazing. Smith, the old courts. Oh, gosh. Oh, dear. Um, so we're starting a high degree of danger. Oh. oh. I don't see any mitigation for his rock or step. It's red. For Duncan Taylor, the first red card of his career. And this is going to be a huge blow for Glasgow Warriors from Jordan. Steve, though. Oh, here we go. Mais la pression, oh l'énorme choc, l'énorme choc oh de Lucia Canada. That's one of the worst. Oh my God, that is hot. Let's watch that again. That's horrible. Running, running, running. Mais la pression, oh l'énorme choc, l'énorme choc de Lucia Canada. C'est un carton rouge. Carton rouge pour l'ailier argentin de Soyons Angoulême. Il le sait, Lucas. He knows it's done wrong. He wasn't deliberate, but jeez. One handed no from Dupree. Here's Tuolangi taking on all comers. He's hungry for it. Idiot. Oh, oh elbowed him in the, in the throat. Oh, he's been here. That is not good. It's not the carrying arm. That's a red card. Not 14 minutes in. Mamet Tuolangi sent from the field. Look here again, the to make the team. Brilliant read from Grant Williams. Yeah, that's great stuff, though. Sure, we did wrong there. Upright, leading with his head, making contact. Head to hit. Time ah. of danger. Don't see any mitigation, so they've got to record it. That was an accident. That wasn't. That shouldn't have been a red card. Well, it is, but less of a law, but. That was an accident. But it was the, the pressure that came on and the, the weight and impact of the replacement subs off the bench for La Rochelle. But... Yeah, that's a red card. He just punched someone in the face. He cannot go like this with a clear separation from the body. Well, what an absolute <laughs> idiot. Red card. Red card. Two of them. Lucky, luckily for Ireland there, Willie Leroux gave the pass. Oh, oh. Pat Lambie hit hard and late oh. by CJ Stander. 
Omar Havertz to allow that ball to be slightly quicker. Dingwall is up very quickly. Northampton looking to turn this yeah, ball well, he's over. down. Yes, all the same. Again, after the end, you'll adjust your position. So echo. And McMahon. Oh, I saw that hearing. Here he is, head, head. That is a red card for me. The key is a red card for me. Can't well, there's not too much protestation from Michael. The one thing I will say, though, about rugby union, I'm not sure about every other sport, especially not get um, soccer, as you guys say, the players are so respectful to the referee. You just sent off a guy who was like 24 stone and the referee's like 10 stone, and they just go, okay, sir, sorry, sir, and off they go. There's a lot of respect to the referees. And it was locked over it. There goes Marcus Kremer. Gonzalez Iglesias on here. Oh, what are you doing? Yep. Well, a somewhat unseemly end to the match. Just as the ref is wise to pull him off three times. Oh, yeah. Him and him. That's ultimate sanction. That's red. Yes, that is red. Anything to start with? Thank you. So, despite the pleas of Corey Hill, the world's captain. Matthijs. Van Riet. And Reed always manages to dart inside his oh. man with a huge straight arm tackle there by Dean Thomas. Oh, yeah. And this could be trouble. Oops. Yeah, that's bad. For the Welsh flank. Oh, 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 okay, well, that's wheels again, but you would get to know whether that. What do you guys think of these things? Chat's gone quiet. It's only you do saying I hate these things. What? What? Josie, are you still here? What do you think of it? Or do you just like, nah, I just prefer pads and helmets. Don't have to look at the ugly guys. Um, don't be scared as well, guys. Please say hello in chat. It's obviously the new series. Maybe not everyone will like it, but I, I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying myself. It's only for two hours, max. That's it. We're typing out then. Uh, half an hour in, Jesus. And i got three more videos. Um think. Yeah, one rugby league and then two NFL ones. So, yeah, I'm not sure how people think of it. That was good football. Dave, how are, you? How are we, sir? Go, Pack, go. Dave, I've got one more rugby league one to play. That was rugby union. First two rugby union. This one's rugby league now, right? So, showing the comparison in the equipment, the tackles and everything. And I got two then for NFL hits wise. But and so rugby league, this is what I the next one, this is what I played in university. Oh right. So this is if you've not seen rugby league before, this is hard hitting. Let's have a look. Let's have a gander here. Um the hit yeah but Shelly you gotta remember right this is that's the most violent part of it. It's not like that every you know, you do get a little bit like that, but that's the worst of the worst. Same with this video, it's the worst of the worst. You know, love rugby. I love watching it, I don't love playing it anymore. So here we go, right? Let's present this one then. This one's about 15 minutes long. This is rugby league. Dave, if you like rugby union, you're gonna love rugby league if you haven't seen it before. Um because this is, this is more fighting and stuff. Rugby league, don't care. Here we go. City League rugby, happy days. Ferner. Well, there's Nickow just swinging. I said Daryl van der Velde will be... we go again. Oh, well, it's ridiculous. O'Connor's throwing them in. Busby's on the ground, they're still throwing him in. And this time, Tawada Nikau is acting as the peacemaker with Francis Stevenson. Oh, well, it's nice, isn't it? He started it. Look at that. Okay. It's target practice. Ferner thinks that it's Paul Newman that got him. 
Disgraceful. Must be an O'Connor. Farrell's got him. Well, the boxing is on tomorrow night on Sky Sports. Yeah, this is what rugby league's about. Card. Nick Howe's gone. Nick Howe is off. Well, you said, you said Daryl Van der Velde should get him off before he was sent off. And Nick Howe is red oh. Here we go, number nine. Move! Hold! Hold! Stuart Fielden is having words with Graham Hall and Mason's involved. Here we go. Mason came in and took exception to whatever was going on between Fielden and Hall. And it's really started something. I did hear that. Well, players have to be punished for that, Eddie. We we can't allow that to happen in the sport. And well, remember Murray 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 Murray. Remember Murray Murray. Yeah, there's a backlash here. When these sames are playing against one another, there's been a battle to be who can be the bit most aggressive player on the field. I mentioned Murrayfield. Do you remember when Sean O'Loughlin took out, was it Luke Robinson? Yeah, at Murrayfield. And yeah. afterwards, uh, have a look Nathan here. Brown said, Watch he Mason expect. stands on Stuart Field and have a look at this. Unless I've seen this wrong, watch Mason. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Well, that's why. And he's in the sin bin. Keith Mason, the touch judge, and the referee have seen all that. And Fielden wants to get at Mason again here. The well, well, threshold for these edit players, Andy, is a lot harder than uh, some of the standard this day. Carries that ball is a brave man, and it was only one man, Jamie Peacock. Ryan Bailey's in the middle of it. All the players are rushing in. Jamie Peacock now, a man who plays with composure. Seems to have lost the plot. And Ryan Bailey, well, he's took one off John Bateman. Well, listen, Frotch against Groves is a fortnight away. This is the magic weekend. This is boiling. Eddie, we've been there. You've been there as a player. And you know that when you pull the captains out, you've got to get set. Someone's got to put the hand up to carry that ball. Whilst you get that penalty, you can see the defensive line getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Then all of a sudden, you've got to ram it in. Ram it in, guys. Do you know, it was a high shot from McIlroy. Simple. It's just been got, spoken to by the referee. the top three then, so is because we don't want to off fight him. All you viewers, I'm sure, would have seen it. Yet the officials miss it. And this is the reason why we've got this. It's an absolute disgrace. Didn't bother about any attempt to the tackle, just went for it. It's been an ongoing thing for many years. They do not like each other. That is without doubt. That was malicious. Then he went again. What on earth do we have to do? And then he gets one back. He's got off. McDermott is sent off. Barry McDermott, red carded. He is off. And deserves it. He's the best block forward we've got. There's no question. That's a good question, Ian. That's a very good question. There's not even a doubt in my mind what it is. And it would be American football. It would be American football. I'm only showing these things now. I don't even watch rugby anymore, hardly ever. Um, I'm a diehard NFL college footballer. But this is what I was brought up on, playing and watching. Obviously, playing-wise, is never this rough. But this is it. Um, and I say I wanted to show this because some of you might never have seen any of this before. I would say that rugby is a lot more dangerous than the NFL. I, I would contest that. We'll see some of the NFL stuff now, but I would say that rugby is a lot more dangerous, in my personal opinion. Um, but yeah. So, in rugby union, yes, straight red card, you're out. In rugby league, not necessarily, no. Not necessarily. If two people are fighting in rugby league, they just go, oh well, deal with it. Deal with it, guys. And, and they might get if they get a yellow card, it's 10 minutes off. 
And if it's a red card, they're off all game. So some people know what they do. If they want to break, sometimes people do punch just in order to get a break for 10 minutes. Again, it was a cross. Now, this red card was different because he did a high tackle above the neck and then he went a couple of times to punch the guy. That's why he got the red card. Right, number one. Edmondson, Ricky Bybee, Cunningham, back to Long. How did he keep hold of it? He hasn't. And here is Sean O'Loughlin. He will do very well. Pongi is in a lot of trouble. I think he's had a stray finger in his eye. Pongi is running to the sideline. He wants treatment. That intuitive back play. They're swinging them right and left. He's still working. It was always going to be on. Now they're at it. They're all coming in. They're swinging. The touch judge has been involved in it all. This is unbelievable. Tunnel's lost total control. They all have. I knew it was going to explode because the referee and the officials did not take action when O'Connor and Newton went through. It is no surprise that this has occurred. Jesus. They'll take all the blame from these players. But a lot has to rest on the shoulders of all the officials. In and what you don't know about that is those two are best friends. The two people fighting, Farrell are the other guy, they're best friends. Madness. They were, I think, they were best men at each other's weddings. And they just be fighting against each other, punching. And straight after this game, those two will be at a bar together having a pint and having a laugh about it. If they are not seeing what's going on out there, we can. That was uh, Mike Tyndall. That's Mike Tyndall. Uh, not really. Not really. It was a non plus thing because he doesn't do much with it. If he was with, like, obviously one of the top Royals, but, it, you know, it, it didn't get much news to be quite. Well, I got a little bit of news, but hey, people are used to it now. He's a great guy anyway. The crowd can. It has turned. Very nasty indeed. So I'm going to put Newton. Newton so in the got involved. Yes, I know. Totally yeah, of course. Yeah, They're all in the yeah. wrong. And then Andy Farrell has completely <laughs> lost the plot. He gets involved. Crack, crack. Sculptor. Well, thing... Now Sculptor. Another one goes in. I say Scunthorpe and Farrell. Those two here are like best friends. That Jesus. So his son, Owen Farrell, that his son was sent off in another clip. That's his son, um, who's a dirty burger as well. Okay, stop that NFL stuff now. Good for the Royal Farming Series. Yeah. Not really. I mean at the time, yeah, but not really. I don't think it changed anything for anybody. Um, because he doesn't do anything, you know, he's he's got a job. You know, he still does other stuff. He just goes to like the weddings and funerals. Um, he doesn't really do much with them, um, in essence. So, um, but no, he's he's a great guy. I like Mike Tyndall. Mike Tyndall is a really good, 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 good person. Um, right. Let's watch this then. What's this then? Right, this is NFL. So I got this one first then. So yeah, let's well, I'm rushing through it because I think people think it's boring, but you know, let's not rush through it too much. Dave's here now, so um so they they what young said earlier, there's been a lot of concussions. There's a lot more concussions now. For me, when I first looked at NFL, it was like you guys use pads? You use helmets? You know, it's not as rough. But then I see some hits. I was like, oh, it is rough. Yeah. Um, no, wrong people jump off the pitch. Um, yes, but also, so you got two different here, Lou, right? Rugby players compared to football. 
So football, as in soccer, football. The difference, right? The referees in rugby union, so they can have a massive fight. Massive fight between two people. As soon as the referees intervenes, they stop. And they've and if one of them cheats the referee, the referee goes up uh, and they stop. The discipline and respect in rugby union is huge. A referee, I'll, I'll try and find one for you now. I'll try and find one for you now. Um, and they are gentlemen, yes, uh, off it. Uh, rugby league, a little bit different. A little bit different. Um, Let me just find something here then. I'll just show you a quick one now. So we don't you don't get bored. I haven't seen this one before, but uh let's see if it's any good. Share screen. Nigel Owens. The law is quite clear. More is formed, held up, unplayable, turn of a ball, no issues whatsoever. I don't think we've met before, but I'm the referee on this field, not you. Stick to your job and I will do mine. If I hear you shouting for anything again, I'm going to be penalising you. This is not soccer. Is that clear? Back you go and get on it again. That told him. And Nick Williams and Pinar is going from just inside his own half here. The football stadium is right the Nigel Owens is warning Anthony Allen there about he can always go to the football stadium just over the road if he is going to answer back. No, he wasn't. He's He's no, he, he moved. Uh, Christopher, thank you. You see that, Christopher? Anybody that comes to the referee and starts whinging, it's like, uh, and it's like, sorry, sir, but I apologize to you, sir. And they call the referees all sirs and stuff. Um, so yeah, there's a lot more respect. It's they call the referee sir, um, and there's you know, the you see on the NFL where the head coaches go nuts to the umpires and stuff, it's like, what. Yeah, but you know, that doesn't happen in rugby union. There's zero that happens. If it does happen, you're sent off, whether you're a coach or whether you're a player, you're off. So that I think the level of respect in rugby union to the referees, soccer, oh my god, it's the worst ever. Zero respect. Bunch of clowns. Um, but I must say for rugby and you know, it's so violent. After the game, they all come together on the function. They might share a drink or two, have food and stuff. They're all very respectful afterwards as well. Uh, get spanking. Dave, like that, loves, loves talking about spanking. Uh, yes, that's the Dallas Cowboys. Right, let's play some NFL hits then, see what this is about. Um, and next week, Dave, I'm going to be playing them um, tailgating. I've got some. I got one actually for Green Bay already lined up. I'm not sure what it's going to be like, but I'm going to do yeah some tailgates just to show, you know, what happens. Because once the season starts, it's going to be full on football. But wait, okay, good question, Young. Actually, this is very interesting, Young. When did you first learn of football? Um, so I knew of it probably, probably about. I would say, trying to work out now, what was it? Probably about 20 years ago, I'd heard of American football, uh, but only about the Super Bowl. I'd heard about the Super Bowl or something, but I never watched it. Um, I watched some clips and stuff like that, but never really got into it at all. I got into American football properly, probably 2000. 19, 18, 19, and I, I got into it because of Barstool Sports. 
because I like the I don't like everything about Barca sports, and there's actually probably now only about twenty five percent of Barca sports I actually like content wise. But they used to do gambling caves and stuff like that, so enjoy it, and the reactions to college football and stuff like that. So I, I watched one game. I thought, well, this is boring. But then I found out about the red zone, and then I started getting nowhere. Started to know some of the players, researched a lot more. Um, you know, and actually, there's one guy in the village uh, where I where I live who's well into it. He's been out to America a few times to watch games, so he's obsessed with it. Um, so I learned some stuff off him, just watching. Um, and then, do you know what was big as well for me was the documentaries and the vlogs that came out from teams, and that's why I got the Colts. Because one of the first ones I ever watched um, was about the Colts, and I loved it. And um, that's why I put the jersey on for the Colts. Then Hard Knocks, I started watching Hard Knocks, and yeah, I just went, "Well, this is this is good." And that's how I got into it slowly. And I probably go into college first, and then into the NFL. Now I'm obsessed with it. And now all I will do. If I'm not on here, I will watch. Or like people say, why did he join this chat, that chat for streams and stuff? If I watch a stream, it's related to NFL or college football. My my main stream that I always watch is Pat McAfee, ex Colts, um, ex Colts kicker. Love Pat McAfee, obsessed with him. Josie and the first one just came out. Was it when Tuesday, Wednesday, the New York Jets one? Like I've. You know what? That's what I'm watching after this. Um, well, no, actually, I'm watching it tomorrow because preseason's on now. So um, the New York Jets. I'm like Dave knows. Daddy is there for the Jets. So Dave calls Aaron Rodgers Daddy, and he's now with the Jets. So I think this could be a good one to watch. I think. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be getting into that as well now. By literally everything I do outside of streaming either with my nieces and family, or it's football-related. Um, I don't drink. Uh, I don't smoke. I used to do both. I don't anymore for both. So this is my, like, session, um, NFL and stuff. Now, Josie, I will be honest with you, right? I got Colts jerseys. I got about two, three of them. I got a Green Bay one. I got a Dallas Cowboys one. I got a – what? which one did I buy? I got a Baltimore Ravers one. So I'm a bit of a collector, do you know what I mean? I, I like I like second hand jerseys. Well, this is brand new. I got yeah, I got because I got DeForest Bunkner as well for this. Um but I would say I haven't got a team. Even though I got more cold skier than anybody else, I don't feel like I got a team. Uh, so I do feel a little bit naked sometimes. Um I think my two favourites. I think are uh, Carolina Panthers and um, uh, Cincinnati Bengals. I think they one of those are going to be my team. I think, but I'm not there yet. We are a football family. My sons and husband love football. Happy days. We have we have forty nines, the Bears and the Cardinals. Oh, Cardinals! They were taking shots on Twitter the other night against uh, the Broncos. They deleted the message. Oh, I love that drama. Loved it. Um, 49ers. I can stand 49ers. I can stand that. The Bears. So I like the Bears, but again, because of Barcelona Sports, because Dan Katz is a huge Bears fan. So I do like them. But I need to choose a team, though, this year before we, the season starts. Both were even Super Bowl champs this year. Good chance. Good chance, Dave. Good chance. I hope before... Everything start. This is what this, right. This is what the stream is going to be about. Talking about crap like this. I just wanted to introduce something different. Maybe I overthought this stream. Maybe you just go straight into football. I I love to talk about football. Um. So so I'll go for. Do you know, I'm not going to play anymore. Right. Forty ers My opinions of forty ers Forty ers Forty ers You got one hell of a, a head coach. 49ers, what a head coach you have. Carl Shanahan is going to win a Super Bowl. He's got to. He has to for his legacy. Do you know what I mean? Um, but you've got you've got problems though in, in 49ers have got massive problems to pay players. 
Um, because you got Nick Bosa now. What are you going to do with him? You now you're lucky. Well, you're not lucky really because. Right, what do you think about Brock Purdy then? Seventh round pick when he he's just started and he, he spent so much on Trey Lance. So I can see if if this is why I'm bringing this up now is because if Jordan Love does not get off to a good start for the Packers, I can see them go out going after Trey Lance or Sam Darnold. Um, I think Dave Green Bay will. This is my okay. Let's play it. This is my like truth of the uh, of the day. I think that. Trey Lance or Sam Darnold will be traded to the Green Bay Packers at some point this year. The pussy come back. I'm I'm up now. I'm reclining now. I'm reclining. If Jordan Love does not have a good start, one of them is going to end up there. Which one? I don't know. If it's Trey Lance, I don't know. Can you trust him? Guys, chat away, guys. It's not just me chatting. Chat, I love talking, but I need you guys to talk as well. Whoever's the next Pat Mahomes. Jesus. Jesus. I don't either, Josie. But where's he going to go? Do you know what I mean? That's why I'm, I'm thinking Jordan Love. Do you remember him, remember him two years ago? Oh, my days. So he's going to have to have one hell of a start. Otherwise, they're going to be Green Bay are going to be like, oh my God, right? We can't do this. So I can't see them keeping Trey Lance either. What it, what it, but the only way they keep Trey Lance is if they don't want to lose face. If they're like, oh no, we've got to keep him because we literally traded three first rounders for him or whatever it was. I don't remember what the trade was. And they chose him. So it's come out since then, obviously, that uh, Carl Shanahan wanted Mac Jones. And not, um, they were, yeah, wanted Mac Jones and not Trey Lance, which is a bit, I can see it. I can see it because Shanahan, one of his best friends, obviously, is what's his name? Pundit. Uh, I don't remember his name now. Um, but he was all over going, it's going to be Mac Jones, number three, Mac Jones, Mac Jones, Mac Jones. And it was, it was basically, it was supposed to be Mac Jones. Um, Chris's name is, but I don't remember his surname. So I don't, you know, Cardinals need him. Get rid of Cry Baby. I hate Kyle Murray. I'll be honest with you, I hate him. I the talent, the talents there, the attitude. Oh, oh my, the attitude of the guy. You know, I hope he buggers off um, to baseball because his attitude. He needs, you know, he needs to be taken down a peg or two. Um, Excellent. He's not a leader. Excellent point. He's not. He's a crybaby that doesn't do anything. Doesn't get his own way and then just starts like blaming everything else. Oh, I want the he wanted the left tackle Paris Johnson uh this year, so they got him uh the left tackle he wanted. He wants this, he wants that. Jesus, sometimes, mate, you gotta just play. Stop your demands. You lost a, a head coach. And you, you know, I think Cliff King, Kingsbury is actually talented, but I think he's more of a Offensive coordinator than he is a head coach, but he's he's good at playing, you know, play calls. But Carl Murray's too much of a baby. Lance is destined to the Rams. Do you think? So I think they're going to move on from Stafford at the end of this year. But I heard that um, that um, Stenton Bennett had a very good game. And again, I see Stenton Bennett as a program kind of um, quarterback. So I think that. Sean McVay will love him because he will just he will just run the plays like he did in Georgia. He just runs the plays, and I think that's what Sean McVay wants: is someone that has a good arm, and he has got a good arm, and can just be safe, keep the ball, throw it out when he needs to, just be, you know, bing bang bosh bosh. And I think that's Stenson. I don't think that's Trey Lance. I think Trey Lance is a bit more of a... That's why I was shocked that they went with him, uh, Kyle Shanahan. But then it's not the shock that comes out afterwards that he wanted Mac Jones, Shanahan did. 
but got vetoed. He's not a leader. You're hundred percent right, Josie. Um, Murray possibly is not going to play this year because of his knee. I mean, yeah, I, I know he's not supposed to start or something, but I think the Cardinals are a very bad run organization. And I, I do like to watch the 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 videos, the vlogs and stuff. Um but do you know what I mean? I think Michael Bidwell needs to sell it if they want to move forward with it. Um, I remember watching the draft and stuff that they had, and everything had to go through Michael Bidwell. It's like once you do that, once the owner gets, you're buggered. Do you know what I mean? Um, I like David Blau. Hope they let him play. David Blau, yeah. Do, you, do you, I'm not sure if you watched it. Was it Hard Knocks or was it? Yeah, it would have been Hard Knocks. Uh, the Lions last year, David Blau, where his wife was running the 400 hurdles. I'm not sure which country she was running it for. And he thought he was in the room with him and just Jared Goff. And all of a sudden, everyone was in there watching her run. And when she qualified, everyone was, Way! and he was just close to tears. So that alone, I'm like, yeah, I like this guy. I think he's a good player. Um, but there's so many good players out there. They just don't get a chance. Uh, a player that I got a jersey on, actually, I shouldn't have got a jersey, was Jacob Eason. Because... Um, Every episode should have a hang on. Um I love Jacob Easton B. I've got a team with no got on got a club. Last club was uh, San Francisco 49ers. Then he went to Carolina Panthers just for a couple of weeks and then he got eated from there. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? I, but I also loved like, you know, Hutchinson singing that song. Mm-hmm. You know, and he, he just got he messed up, but then he got back in there. It was brilliant. Every episode should have an NFL gossip. What's the shit? Gossip. What is it talking happening? Boy, oh, talk about this now. Talk about this one. You talk about this one, Yang. This is this is what I wanted to be, guys. I, I was overthinking things because I didn't think I'd have one person here. I knew Dave was coming. I did, I knew. Dave was coming, but I didn't think anyone else was coming. So I thought, oh, I've got to put some videos together. This is what I wanted to be, just talking, whatever comes in chat. Yeah. And also his brother Joey came out with, they both want to play together. They both want to play together, um, which is a bit of a hint in. You know, they've got a lot of players to, to pay and stuff. The 49ers have got one hell of a team. One hell of a team. I think the 49ers would have reached the Super Bowl last year had it not been um, for all the injuries, it, but for quarterback injuries. You know, Jimmy, then obviously Brock then got hurt, and you just didn't have anybody to come in. You, you know, you were buggered. Um, I don't actually remember who did come on instead of uh, Brock, to be quite honest with you. Um, so... You you really need to win in a couple of the next couple of years. I know that is it this year that he is now fifth year option. I think gets picked up this year for Bosa. It was 2020, wasn't it? 2020, he was 21, 22, 23. So next year's is yeah, so they need to this year pick up his fifth year option and then they can franchise tag him twice. But he's not gonna want that. He wants a contract, obviously. And he's one of your leaders, you know. So and you got Trent then on the offensive side. Oh, I like him as well. Left guard, Trenty. He's 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 without doubt the best left tackle in the league. And uh, Nick Bosa is probably one one of, if not the best. Oh, there we are, Josh Johnson. There we are. I didn't remember who he was. Um, I didn't remember who he was. I remember him coming on because Josh Johnson's not a bad player, but you know. I thought that you were buggered when Brock came in. When Jimmy went down, I was like, oh, Brock, you're done for. Um, but he, he was Mr. Relevant, I think, as well, wasn't he? Uh, Brock was. I'm pretty sure that he was Mr. Irrelevant. What a punt that was. And look how it worked out. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, during the show. Yeah, well, it's two hours. So this is what I mean. Yeah, definitely. Young, to be quite honest with you, what Josie's asking me now, what your questions you're asking me, is what I want to see. Um, because then it could be designated. So what I, what I want you to be, right, is I want to have a guest on once a week just to talk about their team, you know, and their culture and their tailgate. And, you know, so that would probably be, say, and their food and drink. And stuff. So that would be probably be now. But then I want it to be, like, chat. Right, what's what's all the things? Like, what are we, what are we talking about now, I mean? That's why I overthought today. I was like, oh, no, people have got to want videos and stuff. So I've lined up all these videos. I was like, I'm going to do tailgates. I'm going to do, you know. But I'm happier doing this, just chatting. I'm here, but I have zero knowledge of NFL, being a Brit and us. <laughs> yeah, but you'll get into it. You'll get into it. It's mostly, though, just talking. Lou, so you'll be fine. Yeah, well, this is interesting. Just don't tell Sal. Hey Sal, how are you doing, sir? Um, so he has he. Right, I'm not sure. Has he been cleared now then to play? In the sense of, because they had an out in the contract, they could have got rid of him. I couldn't believe it when I read that. I hope it does well. He's a nice guy. He's he's one of the nicest guys. Never gets any luck at all. You know, I was yes. Seattle's run. Um, running games really good, but DK obviously. And now, who did they sign? Was it Addison? No, it wasn't Addison, was it? Was it Addison or was it the Ohio State one wide receiver? Um, oh, I don't remember, I don't know, but yeah, they've got good wide receivers as well. Seattle defense looked really good. They did. I'm just hoping that's just preseason. But I want Seattle to do well because of Russell Wilson. I do not like Russell Wilson. I hope he has another crap year. But Seattle won that deal. Doesn't matter if he Russell Wilson has a great year this year. Seattle got a hell of a deal out of that. Salvador, Salvador, do you support any NFL teams? Any um, college teams, sir? It'd be interesting to get Sal's take. I mean, tell us shit talking on Twitter. To be honest with you, I don't know much about on the Twitter. I only go by my own research, my own knowledge and everything. And I don't I don't tend to go on Twitter, to be honest with you. Um, because I just like my own thing. Um oh I said about some stuff about Twitter, but yeah. There's not much you're always going to get some shit to talk from different teams and stuff. Always going to happen. But there's not much apart from that, though. Baseball. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not into baseball yet. I'm into the um, college baseball, where it gets down to, like, the Final Four. I'll watch that. But everything else, nah, man. I just find it too long. Do you know what I mean? Wilson watched up too much. Yeah, I mean, there is that. He's quite small. But I just don't like him anyway. Don't like his, you know, limited. I'm Mr. Unlimited. Shut up, dude. He's having a, done the baby now, isn't he, with uh, Kiara? Jeez. What am I too young? Is um pick some topics and just put them up here as a as a bit of a shit talk. Um, I don't know how people, I can understand why you would do it. If you're in the stands doing it, but I can't imagine watching at home, like just sat there going first inning, or was it ten innings or something? I couldn't do it, so I couldn't do it. Oh, before I forget, can you all see? Hopefully, that's you can see that. Yeah, but I'm trying to get into basketball, uh, but college basketball. I don't want to get into um, uh, the NBA. I don't care about the NBA, but I want to get into, I, I started getting into um, women's basketball for college level. I thought that was great. And not for the reason people think, but I actually thought the women were playing fantastic. 
uh, I thought was really exciting. I thought I found it more exciting than the men's one. So that's why I watched a lot of it. Um, so I do want to watch a lot more. I think I'm also going to change my time zones. Because it's too difficult for me to do all this, cover all these things, do everything. So I might go to, like, change a little bit, you know? Happy birthday, Salek. Happy birthday to you. Yay. I'm sure Sal will give you a happy birthday and everyone. Um, no worries. Have it, Josie. Thank you for being here. No worries. Um, I'm I'm going to finish in 45 minutes. I'm keeping it two, two hours. But we're going to be doing this every Sunday, Josie. So if you're up for it, you can come on if you want. If you don't want to come on, that's fine. Understandable. But... I want to see you in chat because you got good, great questions. Um, you said there was a Twitter, but there was a tweet. It was a tweet. It was just a tweet, Young, about uh, it was like an inside joke about Russell Wilson um, on a plane doing a workout. Um, but I didn't see you on Twitter. I saw it in a um, article. That's how I knew it happened. Um, but there's not. You don't get. You get some fun between teams, but there's not much. You know, I think you you have to see. Like, I don't follow it them enough, but I do need to pick a team, though. I do need to pick a team um, for the season moving forward because it's getting close to the start of the season. So I don't know. That's gonna be interesting. What who I pick? Hmm. And tonight, um, be, this is what I mean. Confuse me. Six o'clock my time. One o'clock Eastern. There's more games this evening. Preseason games are good. Just to see, just to have some football, but they're not the same as, you know, having football back. Like, you know, this is a Colts one. This is an Indianapolis Colts one, Lou. This one is. I, I got. I got one for Dallas Cowboys. But Sarah P would would absolutely alleviate me if I wore that one. Um, I got a Baltimore Ravens one. I got a Green Bay one. Uh, I got about two, three of these in white and and blue. I got like some Kansas City and Rams, uh, LA Rams stuff as well. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. I think. Oh, I got some Carolina Panthers and Detroit Lions, like just uh, masks and stuff I got for them. And I got an Arizona Cardinals mask, actually. Uh, so they're, they're the only things I've got. But jersey wise, yeah, I've got probably about five or six different jerseys. And you look at some more. I like to go on vintage, Lou. Actually, Vin, Lou, do you go on vintage a lot? Lots of gear on there, you see. Um, the reason I want to go from away from the Colts is I, I've like bought their gear and I said that if you say to me, Who's you, who are you a fan of? I'd be like, uh, Colts. But also, not really. I only like them because of their documentaries. Um, I don't actually n know all that much. I know some of the players, obviously, but I try to not follow them th um, this off season. I try to follow everybody rather than just one team. Um, then I like the Bengals because of Joe Burrow, you know, Jamar Chase, Boyd, um, and all them. Like you know, but then I like Carolina Panther because I like Frank Reich as a head coach. Um, I like what they're doing there. I like what they how they're starting. I like New York Jets this year, what they're doing, bringing Aaron uh, uh, Rodgers in and stuff like that. So, I don't know, Green Bay Packers, obviously, with Dave. Go, Pack, go. I like Detroit Lions as well. I'll be honest with you. I like Detroit Lions as well. I think Detroit Lions are my sneaky pick to win that division this year. They are my pick. I'm not a massive Jared Goff fan. I'm not a massive Jared Goff. If Jared Goff wasn't there and there was a, someone else there, QB, I would be a little bit more happier. But they are my pick to win that division this year. Sorry, Lefty, if you watch this. Is my water gone? I had roast beef dinner today. A bit salty. Um... That's why I'm having water there. 
I just bought Jets hat because it's my second favorite team, and he already is my daddy. <laughs> I I've got a thing for them. So I started. I started liking the Jets probably a couple of years ago when Joe Douglas became involved in it. And I like Robert Sadler as well as head coach. So I, I started to like them. I, I started to like what they were doing. They got rid of some people. I was like, oh, yes. Um, so, yeah, I, I do. Now they got A Rod. You know, I don't think they're going to be. I think at best they might make the playoffs at best. But I think still think they're going to be lucky to make the playoffs because you've got Buffalo and look, Miami is loaded, Dave. Low did, but the Jets have got a top five defense. So people are going like, "What the f- is this guy talking about?" Spreading the love, spreading the love. Um, yeah, it's I, I'm enjoying myself, guys. So we didn't get many people turn up today, but it's all good. I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying your company. I know that like Luke hasn't got an absolute clue about what's going on, but I appreciate you making it, Lou, because you know it's just a new season, just trying something different. And this is generally something I, I like doing, I like talking about. So um I'm gonna try and make it less fancy next time because I did all these things about rugby union. I just overthought it. I'm just gonna come with a list of things to talk about. I might just talk about the NFC North and stuff a bit more um, next week. Or the NF- NFC and the AFC the week after or something. I don't know. Um, but I love the fact that Josie loves it. I love that fact. Because that's really, you know, um, the more women that love it, the better for me because most of my women, my viewers are women. So I understand there's people like Young and, and Lou that do not understand it. So it's a balance then, you know, you try and get a balance, but it is hard um, to please everyone. But I still am enjoying this. I, especially when it comes to Christmas, when you see all the uh, green bays, there should be snow everywhere. Snow is falling all around us. So that's going to be interesting. Um, I might throw some stuff in there as well about some of the traditions that people have, uh, teams have. Roger went to the dark, yeah, and when he made it and was able to talk himself. And, yeah, so his first choice was he's retiring, wasn't he? He was actually going to retire. Then the whole mess up with the Packers happened, and then that's when he was like, he got ignited to go to the Jets. I remember him talking about it on um, the Pat McAfee. But it was pretty clear that I think he was going to retire. And then he was never going to play for the Packers again. Um, I think that he felt he was being messed about. And also, I think he felt genuinely that it's now Jordan Love's, you know, it's his chance. Um, Roger's got this bad reputation with him. I don't think he's as bad as what people think he is doing. I, I think he's a serious player, but I think he's also very helpful as well. I know he went over to Bryce Young this week, um, or whenever it was. Uh, yeah, this week to chat to him and give him pointers. And, you know, they got the same agent. And it's like, right, you know, you need to remember do this, do that, and all that. Zach Wilson's played a lot better since being influenced by him. And I think Zach Wilson's like enjoying football all of a sudden, even though he's sitting on the bench. But I think he's actually enjoying it now. Um, and also, when we're in season, we've got games to talk about a lot more. Here we just gotta. That's all. I'll probably go through games and you know what the betting market's about and stuff like that as well. Again, no interest to most of you, I know, but Dave's interested. Dave's interested. The ladies' man is interested. That's the main thing. Um, well, I wasn't gonna play this, but it's gone quiet. So, what I'll do is I'm gonna play this, um, a little bit of this. I'm not let's play a little bit of this. Hopefully, Josie watches his back because. This is about San Francisco and Go Park Go. I was actually going to play this next week. Let's play it now because I'm struggling. Um, Shit. Sure. Here we go. 
I'm in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Lou, I don't care if you like football or not. How beautiful is this? I'll stop it when we get there right now. What's that? The snow and everything. And that's their stadium in the back there. But look at all this. So pretty, the trees. I'm in Green Bay, Wisconsin, outside of Lambeau Field. Oh, this is one of the most dedicated fan bases in Daddy. all of the NFL. And I'm going to see how they tailgate. What's the secret to tailgating in 20 degree weather? Beer. Uh, beer. beer. Yeah. Bushlight. Bushlight. <laughs> How many DUIs are you hoping to escape on the drive home? No, he's going to drive us home. He knows no. how to drive. I think illegally a minor operating a motor vehicle is less of an offense than a DUI. <laughs> I have a prediction about what's going to happen in the game. All right, we're ready. I actually saw the 49ers medical staff entering into the stadium on the south side entrance. In about 15 minutes, I'm gonna go over there and catch the head athletic trainer, helmet to under chin, and knock him out cold. Oh, no. Go pack, go! <laughs> That's not a prediction, more of a threat. That's yeah, right, right. Let's go back! Look at this. Come on in here, buddy. Where are you from? Uh, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Uh, where, Wisconsin? Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. How about some hot sticks? What's a hot stick? Venison hot stick. Hot stick. Fresh from the North Woods. What? From where? <laughs> Fresh from the North Woods. Are we in Middle Earth? <laughs> Are Wisconsin. you elves? Probably killed that deer. That yeah, that can you recount the killing of the deer that I'm about to eat? I can. What happened? I uh, was shaking like a leaf. You were. I was, yes. It took me a while to find it. Not a great shot, but... Where'd you shoot the deer? Left back. Part. So you missed the vital organs. The deer died a slow, agonizing death. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Are you going to the actual game? We'll see. If I can sneak in. Or if one of the minimum wage security guards mistakes me for AR. Yeah, yeah you can get away it. with that. Absolutely. No problem. Do I look the part? Yeah. yeah. You should see me throw. Identical twins? I'm about as accurate as she is with a gun. <laughs> These are our tailgating neighbors, by the way. So you guys are very nice. And I feel like that is a stereotype assigned to Midwesterners. So I guess I ask you right now, what's it like being so nice? <laughs> it's the way it's we normal. are. It's just normal. It's what we are. No. Does it ever get you in trouble? Have you ever picked up a hitchhiker that you probably shouldn't have picked up <laughs> nope. a guy with a limp and a blood-stained set of overalls is on the side of the highway at 3 a.m do you an apple tonight pull over to give him a lift uh, i won't go that far i would because he probably shot a deer and eats all <laughs> hey it's gonna be a good game tonight i'm sorry what was your name sir chris the nicest guy on the planet say i hope jimmy garoppolo gets buried behind the line of scrimmage and somehow sustains a neck injury that renders him unable to play football for his natural life. Oh, I don't want to go to that. I would not say something like that. That's a terrible thing to say. Say you hope Debo Samuel goes up high for a ball in the middle of the field and gets absolutely mollywhopped no, by no, a defender. No, we just want to beat him. We don't want. What about something mild? I don't want to say something so awful to somebody getting injured. Okay, we're going to tone it down a little bit, Chris. Say you want George Kittle to sprain his ankle. <laughs> I want George Kittle to sprain his ankle, be unavailable for the last two quarters of the game. Yeah! Uh, you guys are such nice guys. Um, I'm just going to grab the keys to your truck and uh, take it to the eleven real quick. It's all right? <laughs> let's put yeah. the drill away first. Yeah, yeah, let's put the, yeah, you guys are all right. Check your own out. Hey, you want a shotgun beer? My cameraman's doing it with you. How's it going, man? How's it going? What's you guys doing? We're uh, drinking with Ian here. That's cool. He invited us over to shot. Oh, 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 are you okay, dude? Are you okay? I don't know. Are you okay? I feel okay. Sit up. Oh. Uh, Let's take a breather. That was good. Should I take a knee? If you're a little dizzy right now, maybe I can trick him into thinking I'm the real Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Whoa! Hey. He's got a double tap! 
This is a serious Green Bay Packers fraternity. Whose rig is this? This is just beautiful. If not the mayor of Lambeau Field, I get the impression you're the mayor of this tailgate section. <laughs> no, actually, that's Andy. Andy that's that's Andy. all sides point to Andy. 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 Andy's the man. Andy. <laughs> Andy, everybody respects you. Just go with it. Oh, bullshit. No one <laughs> How much dirt do you have on these gentlemen over here? This is like an Epstein intelligence operation. You have cameras rigged up in here. You get them liquored up, get them in the coachman, and they do bad stuff, and you film it. Maybe. Have you seen the Nick Bosa pissing at Bayport? Nick Bosa, the defensive lineman. Have you seen him pissing at Bayport High School in Green Bay? He was urinating. Correct. It's, he yeah. disrespected so a he local high school. Excuse me. I think there might be some uh, mandatory registration on some sort of list for doing something like that. I, I, I live, my kids go to that school. I live right there. I'm uncomfortable with that. Defensive end Nick Bosa, you heard it here, has been urinating, urinating. in the presence of children. Yes. And he's going to go out there and get paid millions of dollars to play tonight. It's not cool. I'm not okay with it. <laughs> I got to ask Bosa something. Hey, Bosa. Mr. Bosa. Yeah. Urination issue. Well, it comes down to the concussions. Uh -huh. you That's know, what I said, right, Nico? Really, yeah, he just really... pees anywhere he's got to pee. If Nick Bosa went down with an ACL injury tonight, do you think you would be able to fill in for a few downs and do his job? You know, if Nick Bosa goes down with an ACL injury, I just. Lady Lord. Griffin Lord. Please save us. I'm going to go pick up my football. Yeah. And I'm going to drop back for a pass, and I'm going to let you... So, Lady Law, the plan is, the plan was, I started showing, like, rugby union, rugby league stuff. But I think some people thought it was a bit too rough. So then I just started talking. Joe C., which was surprising to me, started talking about San Francisco 49ers. Dave came in. So we've not much, done much talking, but every Sunday, this is what I want to do, talk about stuff. Then the chat went all quiet, so they just stuck this on then as a tailgate. Um, but I love playing it. I love, uh, sorry, talking about it. So, yeah. Whoops, the wrong one. Why don't you come at me with a tackle? How does that sound? You know, I hope you ate your fucking Wheaties. <laughs> oh, dude. You're fucked. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. It's nuts. I took pity on him. Oh, did he crash you to the go pack go tent? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Rod. Yeah. Go pack, go, baby! Where are you going in? I'm going in second quarter, yeah, man. Really? <laughs> I got priorities. My priorities right now are to go. Whee! All right. All right. Oh, I'm going for it. Got it? Yep. How much? Eight dollars per ride. How about we yeah. cut it in half and call it the Rogers rate? <laughs> I can't do that, man. All right, I'll pay eight bucks. Let's do it. That's to buy tickets, man. What? Where? Right around that corner. <laughs> no, it's a lot of work. All the way. I this is his. It's so awful. Montana! <laughs> the rivalry isn't as bitter as we all thought it was. Thank you. It's beautiful. Look at all that. That is Lambeau Field is beautiful. Well, this must be December, but look at that. Go park. Go. That's beautiful. Who doesn't want to go there? Now you know I you know I my friend from this village from uh, where I'm from. He went to um, Lambeau Field. Field, I loved it. Loved it. Yeah, but Lady Law, that's why you get a man, isn't it? A man keeps you warm. The beer keeps you warm. The food keeps you warm. Do you know what I mean? And a man could like keep you warm, rub you, rub you up and down, keep you warm. So I, I think that's fantastic. Looking at that there, I just love that. That's like a photo. Oops, wrong one. You guys are having fun watching this video. Aaron Rodgers would really appreciate a like to help our channel with the algorithm, please.
please a like before I sled. Yeah. Dude, I oh, Jesus. <laughs> my friend. You love forever. It never end. Uh, I don't think that's a problem, Lady Law. I think that will be fine. And I am actually pretty certain you'll be okay. I think we can easily find you a man. Uh, not a problem. Um, and this song. <laughs> Never ends. You be my lover. from A If you were hoping to see quarterback Aaron Rodgers on the football field this weekend, you are going to be disappointed. He's tested positive for COVID. Rodgers also finds himself under fire after being accused of fibbing about being vaccinated. This is what Rodgers said back in August. Are you vaccinated? Yeah, I've been immunized. Aaron Rodgers is a liar. You know, those guys on the team that haven't been vaccinated. You're one of them! Now one of sports' biggest superstars is giving a voice to the anti-vax movement. If the vaccine is so great, then how come people are still getting COVID and spreading COVID? The Pope of Green Bay is quarterback Aaron Rodgers. He missed the game yesterday. He took a beating on social media, and some of his sponsors uh, yeah, are dropping I know. him. Damn. Hey, Jake from State Farm. Yeah. Thanks again for the Rodgers. Cool. And for nearly a decade, Aaron Rodgers has been working with Pro- uh, Prevea Health. But we learned today Prevea is sacking the MVP quarterback. In a statement, Prevea said it made its decision to end its partnership with Rodgers effective immediately. Rodgers is now blaming the, quote, woke mob. I realize I'm in the crosshairs of the woke mob right now. So before my final nail gets put in my cancel culture uh, casket, I think I'd like to set the record straight on so many of the uh, blatant lies that are out there about myself right now. You guys dropped me before my playoff run, huh? I'm here now. Who wants to play a little Jeopardy? I'll take the Wuhan flu for 200. This garment, worn by prominent television host and actress, offers full protection against COVID-19. Oh, oh. Bing! What is Olivia Munn's G-string, motherfucker? Talk about this beautiful outfit. Thank you. This is Estelle McCartney. Now, where's your man? I'm a big fan of Aaron. Eric, he knows I'm a big fan. Tell you what else. This stuff right here offers better protection against the flu than anything that Pfizer could whip up. You guys drop me before my playoff run? I'm going to show you how healthcare really works. Ah! Yeah. After the weekend, Aaron oh, Rodgers was one of the biggest stories in the sports world. After he scored a touchdown against the Chicago Bears, he said something to the fans. I own you. I effing own you. I still own you all my life. I own you. What's this shit? I own this Blood Orient Cafe! I'm in talks about acquiring a minority ownership. That's what everybody's talking about. Now, Aaron Rodgers is responding to some of those people. We love the G-string protection. We love that G-string protection. Well, now, that is the state of of our media. And let me just, uh, (laughs) not just media, but that's the state of our culture, I think, this woke PC culture. When I make a statement after a touchdown run puts up two scores, now I'm not a sportsman. I own you! All my life I fucking own you! 
championship belt. Really? Against Justin Fields and the poor Chicago Bears? I don't like Skip. That after your touchdown. Sometimes you black out on the field. <laughs> <laughs> I own you! I own you! All my life, I fucking own you! Oh, yeah, so this guy's a pillar. I did, yeah. So, if football is your job, what does music mean to you? Passion. Not a doubt, it's my passion. Took lessons last year during the season for the first time. Oh, Aaron. Think you're pretty accurate with the football? Yeah. I'm about to tape up. Um. I wrote a little song about all the pretty women I've dated. You guys want to? Hear no, I don't want to hear it. So, yeah, I had three shots, and I got it as well after the third one. My mother's had three. She's got it. So, yeah, I I agree. What the... Hey, so Lady Law, tell me, right? Tell me. Speak to me, girl. Speak to me. Who's your NFL team? I know your college, fo college football team is Oklahoma Sooners. Who's your NFL team? If you get this right, it will. So I'm going to try and gauge who everyone's got. Do you know what I mean? Um, Dave, Green Bay looks lovely. I hope I can visit it one day um, because it is looking good. I've had three shots, never had cold. Done lots of. Uh, I, got, I got three and I got it. Oh, actually, probably April time. Whenever I was ill, I was off for like two weeks off, um, off YouTube. Me and my mother got it. I was bad. That's the only time I had it. But I was bad after it. Genuinely bad. Uh, it was rough for two weeks. Um, and my mother's had it twice now for three shots. My father, he's had five or six shots. And I don't believe he's... No, I can't think of a time where he's had it. So... It's weird. Um, my nieces have had it um, after a couple of shots. They've all had it. My youngest niece had it when she was one years old. That was horrible. Whatever well, since high school, hopefully I'll get back into it this season. It used to be the Vikings back when they... That we, ah, I know why. You dirty, dirty girl, you. I know why. Agent Peterson. The horse. Wee! The horse. The black horse. Um, big schlong. So that's fine. Yeah, I'm trying to cut it down, see who I'm going to support. Obviously, I have to have a vested interest in Oklahoma Sooners this year because the lovely Lady Law is there. So I will do that. Um, and then, yes, hang on, what's that? Took three years for me to get it, and it was all, yeah, same here. Yeah, yeah, so same here. Well, I think I caught it in January 2020, but it was all, I was off here for two weeks. It was all. Oh. Not just on the pitch, though, eh, Lady Law? Not just on the pitch. But he was all, but I understand why you liked him, because he's an ex Oklahoma. I get that. I get that. I might have had seen. Would have to be done. Yeah, that's fine. Just don't tell that to everybody. Just don't tell everybody that because everyone else hates the Cowboys. Um, Sony Iris, I think. And um, yeah, Luna, I think that, that likes the Cowboys. No one else does. It's everybody mostly supports one team and whatever team plays against the, the Cowboys. No, Lou, no. So yeah. So. So, yeah, but you just missed, I was bashing, well, we were bashing, but me mainly, bashing Kyler Murphy. I do not, Murray, sorry, 
Kyler Murray. I do not like Kyler Murray. He's an ex-Oklahoma Sooners, but I don't like him. I think he's a crybaby. I think he's a bit of a... Um, oh, she won't like what I just said then. Sooner born, sooner bred. I want to die, I'll be sooner dead. Saxus Longhorn this year with yeah, Sarkasian, yeah. Lady Lord's not like that. What's up with Alka? I'm ready to be. Um, it's just, I think it's just the culture and everything. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure myself, Lou, but I know that every unless you're a Dallas Cowboys fan, everyone else hates them. I think it's the arrogance. I think it's the money. I think uh, Jerry Jones. Um, I think the, the fans are a holes. I, I I think it's a mixture of lots of different things. But these guys will tell you more than I can do. You know, I wasn't brought up in it. So, um, down with Bev Pivo. I don't know about Murray. I hate Murray. I hate him. I I I, I prefer Baker Mayfield over over Murray. And this year's Oklahoma Sooners quarterback. Uh, I don't like him. <laughs> don't think he's good. Don't think he's good. Is he though, Dave? What about Quinn Ewers? I thought Quinn Ewers was starting the season, Dave. What are they? Yeah, I can imagine that. So, Dave, I, I'm not sure I believe you. But I think Quinn Ewers is a starter. I think so, anyway. That's just what I've heard. Anyway, Dave. Maybe he, like a lot of people don't like him. I like him. I think that he arrogant is not the right word. He's confident. But he was like for the crowd. I mean, he was basically you could see him being in the crowd drinking a beer. Um, so he represents the fan base, I think. You know, he's that guy that sat next to you with a beer in his hand and a hot dog at being tailgating, get drunk, and just going out to play quarterback and just having fun and just sticking two fingers up at everybody. So, you know, um, that's who I think it is. I mean, Manny will get his chance. Yeah, he might get his chance, but I think he was going to play the season because if he does well this season, then he's gone to the NFL. So next season, it is then Manning's. I haven't watched this year yet. All football stopped. In law school, like life, suck my soul out. Ah, we'll get you back this season. Then we'll get you back this season. Hi, Thierry. Don't see. We came up straight away. Um, hi. Yeah, hope you're well. Go sooners. Plant the flag. Yeah, what was that? It against Ohio State, wasn't it? Plant the flag. Boof. That was that was amazing. Do you know what I mean? Um, so things like that, that I, that I just love it. I love college football as well. Saturdays for me are big. I'd just be watching uh, football. Well, not all day, you know, I mean, for the majority of the day. That's why I need to change my time zones a little bit to make it more like Eastern time so that I can watch a lot more. Because if I watch, I, have to, I normally try to get up about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. If I do that with football, it's impossible. It's impossible. Go oh, Ducks, Oregon, Oregon. So, what we learned today is we learned a little bit about the NFL. We learned that we've had a slow start. We've had a slow start to the stream, but I'm enjoying it. So that's the main thing. I'm enjoying it. We're going to get more extra people. So when the season starts, this is where I want people to come in and be part of the stream, so we can share more stories and stuff. Then, um, I had a plan today, but. People didn't seem to like it, so I want to talk it. The only only way you can work about speaking and talking crap is if the chat, you know, chats, you know. So I was lucky Josie got involved early on, and then obviously Young asked a couple of questions. Dave now got involved, and the Lady Lords here now asking questions. Oh, I need to find a man for. I'll, I have a look at my calendar, Lady Law. I will definitely be applying. Well, not applying, I'll definitely get the role. I'll do a certain chunk of the year. 
and we'll get somebody else for the rest of it, you know, obviously. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try and keep this to like two hours only because but I suppose when we do this during the season, we'll have football, to, college football to speak about as well. Do you know what I mean? I'm excited. I don't know how many people came here, but it doesn't matter. This is my passion. People ask me, what's your passion? This. Speaking, talking to you lot, and talk about football. Like, as I've always said, I don't know everything about football, obviously, because I'm new to it. But I love speaking about it. I love it. I was going to share Chidi this one day. We might still do a little bit of that, though. Show those ladies. Um, and we show the men as well. We've done that already. Dave, you got it because that's why um, football starts telling me this is what it's about. So that when Red Zone starts, I can just start. So this will end and we start Red Zone. That's the whole purpose of it. I mean, but obviously, Red Zone's not this week. Pre season. Um, perfect on Cheeky Wink, are you? Hey, and also, uni friend were looking hot stuff this uh, yesterday, whatever that event was. Jesus. Jesus. Oki born and raised, but not the state side, the sooner side. Nice, theory. Bring, I can't wait. I can't wait. My Saturday, as you see, is watching ESPN uh, College football because I love Pat McAfee watching that watch you know and then I'm limited amount of the games I can watch um so we, they select the games for us we haven't got a choice but um okay okay before making it back yeah fine that'll be interesting so yeah I'll be watching that um so yeah that that's I don't know We'll see. I'm not going to look back at this program at all, but if anyone's got any feedback, keep it to yourself because I don't really care. This is just going to go the way it's going to go. We're just going to go the way it's going to go. What we've had here, no. Well, I think we've averaged about five people, which is more than I thought we'd get. I've got 11 likes. Oh, that's amazing. Um, yeah, once college football starts, we'll have a lot more to talk about. Because you're covering the college aspect of it and also the um, NFL. You know, T, you two, what the, you two on your military people, Jesus. Anything for a suit, you two, is it? I need to start wearing suits. I need to look at it. I didn't see the Packers game yesterday, uh, Dave. So I need to look at that as well. I need to look at that as well. Right. Well, I know we're early, but I might as well finish now. Thanks, Dave. I mean, look, you know what it's about. It's here. Um, it's just two hours of talking about football if people want me to talk about it. So, yeah, spread the word, get people here. Hopefully, as I say, in a few weeks, we'll start getting people on. Um, but hopefully people can understand a bit of the concept of what I'm trying to do. Literally, it's just me being a mouthpiece to stuff that you guys are speaking about. You know? Okay, Lady Law, I've got you. i got you sorted. Don't worry, I will. Oh, where's my suit? I don't remember where I did my suit. Birthday suit, all right? I mean, I think you've basically seen my birthday suit. You would see the top half anyway, that's for sure. Um, so was half the internet. <laughs> um, so yeah, spread the word. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm not going to finish early then, because you said that. I can't do it now. Can't do it now. Uh, 20 years, no regrets, two kids. Yeah, hey, you got kids out of it, happy days, do you know what I mean? Um I'm not going to speak, but I've never been married, so I, you know. Everything's a learning and growing, certainly growing. I like to grow now and again um, with the right person. And, well, you, you learn new experiences as well. We're in. We're in that ass today. 
No, I'm not sure. Dave, oh, Dave likes college football as well, so it's fine because he's an Oregon supporter. So ducks. Um. Oh, um. The ducks. I'm sure I can. I can stroke a few more. Oh, don't worry about that, lady. Though I'm sure you keep me going. It's fine. Um, but it makes me harder. Um. Anyway, Dave likes the Seahawks, Green Bay, and Oregon. So that's good. I still need to find an NFL team. I think it's going to be a tough up. <laughs> I think it's going to be a toss up, like that one as well. A toss up uh, between Panthers and Bengals. I think it's going towards the Panthers because I like their culture, I like their owner. Their owner, David Tepper, does not give a crap. Does not give a crap. I like that about him. Where Bengals, I love. Joe Burrow and all that sort of, but the owner's a little bit stingy. But they've got some attractive fans, though, that um, I follow. So there is that as well, I suppose. Um, we've got seven minutes, well, six to a bit minutes left. You'd like the Seahawks? Yeah, we just said that they were going to have a good good season. Uh, none of us that I know of here so far like Russell Wilson. So Russell Wilson's somebody that most of us don't like. So I like the Seahawks because of that. Um see how they do this season. Mm. I do you know what I would, but I don't know how. I'd never do it. And I was thinking about doing something, but I don't understand it. I, I just wouldn't know what to do with it or how to run it and stuff. Um that that's the problem. I don't understand any of that stuff. I mean, you can speak to me after whatever offline, but um, yeah, if you can make an easy way of doing it, I would. But me and running stuff, not the best. Okay. Oh, no, what? What? Why do you have to do that, dude? Yeah, well, I mean, if there's enough interest for people want to do it, I, I'm, I, to be honest with you, there's people I thought would be here today that didn't come here today. So, you know. You've done it before. <laughs> Happy days. Because I've never done it. So I, I'm squeamish of it because I'm not sure how much work it is and stuff. Um, I don't know if I, I'd mind work on it. It's just because I'm interested in it. It's just more of a don't want to mess it up. You know. We have to have prizes or a prize or something, then, won't we? Um, the only problem putting NFL, yeah, that, that's the only problem putting NFL stuff on your thing is you've got the bots coming in, then. Oh, you didn't even like the video, just come in, dump all that. I didn't even like it, little bugger, little bugger. But whatever, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and make a list as well. People interested, come on as well. I think Jamie is interested. Wendy is. Yeah, I, I, how many people do we need? That's the thing, how many people do we need? Um, I haven't done fancy football decks. I have no clue anymore. Neither do I. I don't even do it. I, I did it for a couple of years ago. I just did rubbish, so I didn't do any of it. Um, yeah, we could do a live thing here and stuff. Not an issue. Um, and you can put stuff in chat then. The players, you see, yeah, we just need enough. Excuse me. Enough players. See if, if the... They just want to see if they need to strike you for using NFL con. I'm not using any friend content. Well, well, I just hope that doesn't backfire me. I'm just speaking about the NFL. I'm not showing any games or anything. So, but the bots, the bots. Oh, there are four people now. That's nice. Um, yeah. He messaged me later. There we are. That's fine. Um, I will get on it. We'll do it. I'm sure people are lefty. I'm surprised lefty's not here. 
far as FT didn't come. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a few people that are not here today that will probably come. No, I, I appreciate that. Do you know what? Do you know what? I really do appreciate tea. Re. Um, oh, it didn't come up. I'm going to say T. Re. It doesn't come up. It's C. Re. Um, yeah, and Lou's here. She doesn't know. Young came in. She didn't know anything about football either. Uh, I, I appreciate the support and the chat and the fun. It's supposed to be fun. I know there's some serious like football talk, but it's supposed to be a little fun. Lovely voice. Thank you very much. You make me blush. Um, left you play. Yeah, 100% you would play. But I, where's the big baby? I'm not sure where the big baby is today. Um, unless you're playing golf. Unless he, unless he's yeah, he might be playing golf or something, but normally pops in because well, he doesn't know Lady Laws here. That's why. Ah, I know now. He's Lady Laws here, and he didn't know. I didn't didn't mix it out. Um, yeah, hopefully some other people like Jamie and, and stuff will get involved. Yeah, Lou. That's what I mean. Lou doesn't know anything about it. Fair play to her. I know some about football, but not who's who. And they call his teams out. That's fine. Look, guys, I appreciate the fact that you're here, guys. You know, I know it's not maybe your thing, but the fact that you've uh, even here, I appreciate it. You should love golf. I like a bit of golf. You, should, you what, what do you like, Thierry? Do you like the balls or something? Smashing those balls together. I know. Get that driver in your hand and smash that ball. I know. Probably worked like, yeah, probably. I'll give him benefit of the doubt. Even the benefit of the doubt. I'm only joking anyway. Uh, Lefty would be here if he was available. Um, but hopefully some of the others come here. And Oh, yeah, David, David in fairness, David has said, uh, like the post I did say it, that he would come on one of the weeks. So in fairness, so I'm sure he would. Um, Time to learn, though. Yes, Thierry, sorry, Thierry. Oh, I don't know a bit more about tennis again. Do you ladies anything to do with the balls? Do you ladies are there? Tight grip on the handle. Hit that ball. Uh, I like great plays and catching. Those videos are amazing. Good, good, Shelley. That's but that's something. That's something. We're getting you involved. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. We, we'll try and do something for this then, and with that, you know, I'll probably give a prize or something, um, a night with Lady Law or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I'll think of something. Um, yeah, right. With that, I'm going to try and be disciplined now. Red Zone is started or preseason is started, so I'm going to leave it like that. So Lady Law, with Lady Law, always willing to learn and be ed educated. I will not do you bad there and actually say what you actually said, but um, educated, educate because you are an educated person. Yes, Wisconsin, we always look for badges, correspondence. I've been to a Packers game. You've done, you see, you've been to more games than I have. I've never been to a game, not even a London game. So, with that, everyone, thank you very much. Um, appreciate you. I want to finish now because discipline, two hours, I'll always do that. Um, Otherwise, it gets in a mess. So, thank you, guys. I, Thierry's are smacking the crap out of a ball and having to chase it down. It's a good exercise. I'm great. <laughs> That's true as well. So, everyone, thank you very much for being here. I know it's not for everybody. Hopefully, we get more people next time. We've gone over the time as well. So, you got a little... You squeeze a bit extra from me. So, well done, everybody. Um, being disciplined. Thank you, everybody. And, yeah, we'll end it there. Next Sunday, same time, same place. And we'll drag some more people with us. Um, thank you, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Love you all. Ta-da.